Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Lazy Organized Mom. Um, so today is day two of seven days to more organized you. Uh, today I got up, I did my hair. It's not like super fancy or whatever. Um, I'm not going anywhere. I just didn't want to leave it down all day. Once again, I didn't want to put it all up again like I normally do on like an everyday basis. So I thought like a cute little braid and um, I kind of have, I have layers. My hair just kind of sticks out here and there like. I have a bobby pin for someone on the side. Um, I just had a quick light makeup. Um, I am dressed. I do have my robe on, but I promise I'm dressed. See? And I have my pants. So, you know, if I need to go somewhere, cool. I can just throw my robe off and I can go. Um, today's like just one of those dreary days again. The sun's starting to come out, which is good. So hopefully maybe later this afternoon we can maybe go outside and I got some hosses I need to plant in the yard. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so I am just sticking to what I said I wanted to do, start taking care of myself, which is one of my priorities, which is what you were supposed to have done last night for your first day. Um, and then I made my routine. Um, this is kind of like how I used to have it set up like years ago. Um, so I just kind of did like, you know, try to remember kind of like how I did them before and I'm just going to try to do it that way again. Like I have a daily routine for AM and PM. Um, I don't do an afternoon routine just because afternoons are just kind of like, whatever. Like, these are things for my AM and PM things that I definitely for sure want to get done. And then I also have, like, a weekly routine. Like, you know, when I clean the, you know, what room I really clean and, you know, stuff like that. So I'll start with my AM and PM daily routine. Um, right now I get up at 6 a.m. because the kids are in school. So, uh, the schedule won't go exactly as planned right now, but they're at a school in like a week or two. So I'll stick to this as much as I can up until then. And then I'll actually stick to this, uh, for my daily AM, I have get up at 7am, have my coffee and do my daily devotional. It was that book I told you guys about, um, that my cousin sent me from California. It's, oh my gosh, I love this book. And today's scripture, I mean, I needed to seriously hear that. It was just this book is amazing, and today's scripture I needed to hear. It just, I needed it really bad, so, so glad I read it. Anyways, and then I want to do one load of laundry from wash to putting it away, not just wash it, dry it, and leave it in the dryer, or fold it and leave it on the couch. No, I just want to do, I think if I just did one load completely from wash to dry to fold to put away, like, I won't get super overwhelmed. And I have a laundry schedule for my weekly routine. Sorry if you can hear the little guy. Shh, Hunter. Hey, hey, Hunter. Be a little bit quieter, okay? A little bit quieter. Thank you. Okay. And then um, my daughter does dishes, so she's supposed to have the dishwasher running, you know, at nighttime. So then I can unload it in the morning. So I have unload dishwasher. I get dressed, hair, makeup, you know, Outfit. I don't really care about wearing shoes in the house just because know, it doesn't bother me. Um, and then also I added workout to my uh, routine because that's something else I really want to do is start getting, you know, healthier, getting my energy back, just feeling good again. Um, I'm a stay-at-home mom now. So, like, I, you know, I can make the time for it. I can fit it in somewhere. Even if it's just, like, 15 or 20 minutes a day. Something. So I have that on there. And we have the uh, Roku. Is that what they call it? Roku. And, like, you can get, like, fitness channels on there with, like, free, you know, workouts. And you can, you can get, like, five-minute workouts or, you know, however much time you have. So there's, like, no reason why I shouldn't be working out. It's just – I'm just lazy, okay? That's what it is. Ah! Okay, so then my daily PM, um, I want to mop. Um – I'm just mopping, like, the dining room and kitchen because it's, like, the first rooms you see as soon as you walk in the house. Um, it's on, like, the middle. We have a tri-level house. We have the upstairs, the middle, and then, like, the half type of basement deal. So, like, our middle floor, like, as soon as you walk in, you walk straight into the dining room and the chicken. Or chicken. <laughs> kitchen. And it's, like, tile floor. So, it's what you see, like, right away. So, you know, just kind of want to keep that mopped. And it's not a big space. It's seriously, it's like not a big space at all. So it takes like five, ten minutes tops to mop. And the type of mop I have, you just spray the thing and you mop. So it's not like bucket and water. Anyway, so I have a sweep as needed. 
you know, just throughout the day or whatever, I guess. Um, vacuum. I do need to vacuum every day. We have a German Shepherd who sheds like crazy. You know, we have kids. You know, I have long hair. My girls have long hair. So there's like always hair somewhere everywhere. So, and um, the areas that like I sweep is just like the downstairs living room. It's like our main living area and like pretty much like where the dog hangs out most of the time too. So that's just kind of like what I need to sweep every day. And it's, it's not a big area. So for me, sweeping every night is not a big deal. Um, or vacuuming every night is not a big deal. And then I have wiped down the bathrooms just, you know, every night before I go to bed or, you know, whatever, just kind of go through, wipe the toilet off, wipe the sink. And that's really all I need to do, you know, just really quick. Just that way it's good to go for the next day. I don't have to worry about, you know, so if somebody comes by, I'm like, oh, my bathroom, oh my gosh, it's got to be disgusting. No, you know, it's not bad. It's wiped down. So, um, and then I do like a 15 minute walk through, just walk to the house, you know, 15 minutes, just kind of take like a laundry, an empty laundry basket, put things in there that don't belong. And, you know, when you go to that room, you know, take stuff out, put it away and so forth and so forth. Um, I would like to be in bed by 10 o'clock every night. That's going to be my goal. Um, it should work because it's kind of like what I go to bed now, <laughs> like then. So I'll probably just still stick to that schedule. Um, and then stretching. Um, I need to stretch really bad. Like I can just, I can feel my muscles like really tense. Like I used to do Pilates and, you know, I would stretch all the time. And like I would go to aerobic classes and do Zumba and like, you know, ride my bike everywhere, walk everywhere. And I'm not doing that. And I feel it in my body and it's just, ugh, you know, I'm 31, I'm 31. Yeah, I'm 31. <laughs> it's horrible. And I just, I feel like I'm so much older than that. And so for me, I just, I really need to start stretching again, you know, do some Pilates at night or just some simple stretches. So I definitely put that in my PM as well. Um, and now my weekly schedule I have, like Monday I'm going to do the bathroom. It's like I completely clean the whole bathroom. Like I'm scrubbing it down like crazy. And then I'll like, you know, do the, and I'll wash the towels. This is where my laundry routine comes in. When I clean the bathroom, I wash the towels that way. So all the towels will be washed, dried, and put away on Monday. So for the rest of the week, you know, we're good to go. And then on Tuesday, I have the kitchen. And I don't have any laundry down for that day. Um, so it's kind of like a freebie. You no, know, why not? Or if I just, you know, for some reason, like, got behind and I need to catch up, I can use Tuesday as a catch-up day. So I just do a uh, kitchen that day. I just, you know, wipe everything down, go through the counters, um, you know, the... Uh, cabinets wipe those down if they need to be wiped down you know any of the stainless steel stuff wipe that down like the oven needs cleaned out do that or you know just that's like the day to focus on the kitchen um wednesday i have the kids bedroom two of our kids share a room so i'll clean their bedroom and then that day i'll also do their laundry that day and their sheets so you know if they have quite a bit of laundry i might have to do you know like two loads no big deal you know they'll probably be two loads but that's totally fine. It's not that big a deal. And sheets and that's really easy. Um, Thursday, I have me and Matt's bedroom. Um, is it weird that I don't call it a master bedroom? Am I the only one who does that? I don't know. So I put me and, me and Matt's bedroom. Um, we'll do our laundry that day, change our sheets that day. Um, Lillian does keeps her room clean. So I don't have her room down on my list. So I'm not even going to worry about her. And then her laundry... Um, she's learning how to do that on her own. So that's just something that she will put in her, you know, cause I want my kids to get a routine going too. Um, so she can put that in her routine and how, you know, when she does her laundry and all that stuff. So I'm not even going to worry. So I don't have Lillian stuff down on my uh, list. And then the living room will be on Friday. That way it's ready to go for the weekend. We can just chill, relax. You know, it's already clean. I don't have to be like, oh, I need to clean the living room. You know, like, oh, it's the weekend. I just want to chill. So I have, like, dust, sweep, windows. You know, if anything's on the walls, like, handprints or food, just wipe that down really quick. Wipe the couches down. Like, it's a uh, springtime, so the dog sometimes comes in and is just, like, gross, like, muddy. And he'll shake, get mud on the couches. Luckily, it's leather couches. So just, you know, wipe those down. Whatever needs to be done like that in the living room, I do that. And then any leftover laundry that I need to do, like catch up on, I can do on that day too. And Saturday, um, since it's like summertime, I have doing all my outside, all like the outdoor work, which Saturday is like the best day to do at my husband's home. You know, we don't have to like really wake up early. We don't have like tons of stuff to do. 
So Saturday is like the best day to do yard work. So I have Saturday down. And then Sunday, keep Sabbath the holy day. And like our preacher Tim says at church, uh, Sunday you need to take a Nazarene nap. <laughs> and it's just a relaxed day. You know, Jesus talks, um, um, you know, about keeping Sunday the holy day, keep the Sabbath, you know. On the seventh day, he rested after he spent six days creating the earth and, you know, all the things on the planet. So, you know, that's just a day of rest. And we decided that, you know, if the kids have, like, you know, um, sporting events on a Sunday, we're gonna just going to tell the coaches, no, sorry, we can't do it that day. Um, you know, we haven't really talked about if, you know, we should let them go to friends' houses and play that day, which to me, I don't think that's a big deal. The kids are just chilling, having a good time. You know, it is important to have family time. Um, so, you know, Sunday's going to kind of like be that day, like just our chill day, which is also kind of hard because my husband works thirds. So he's like, you know, has to go to bed. So, but for me, Sunday is just a relaxed day. So yeah. honestly, I don't care what anybody else does that day. I just want to rest and chill and not do anything. So that's my weekly AM and my weekly schedule. So that's for day two. You need to create yours. Your schedule might not be the same as mine. You know, you're going to have different needs than I have. You're going to have to do it, you know, ha do things differently. Your house is going to be different than mine. Your house could be like a huge compared to my house. Your house could be smaller than my house. So just, you know, it's you set it up like you need to set it up. Um, so I also use a calendar as like my best friend. I write everything on my calendar. So remember, you're going to have to be flexible because you never know when you're going to have something coming up that day. Like, you know, we have Wednesday night, we have Bible studies at seven. Um, you know, the kids are going to, ha I haven't gotten their t-ball or softball schedules yet because all the practices have been rained out due to all this rain we've been having. So, you know, we're going to have that going on. Um, we have occasional Bible school one week in the summer. I help to volunteer. So there's days I'm going to have to like go to the workshops and, you know, there's just things that are going to come up and happen. So you kind of got to be flexible, but you know, for the most part, if you just stick to your routine and fit it into your day, regard like my hair is driving me nuts again. Um, you know, you'll be able to keep up on it and you won't get so far behind. So that's what we're trying to do. And then also, I just want to let you guys know that I am trying to, you know, organize my life better. Me and my husband have also decided to um, change our eating habits. So we're going to be starting a 10-day juice fast from, um, I don't know if you guys ever watched the documentary, Sick and Nearly Dead. Um, or forks over knives or knives over forks over plates. Oh, I forget what it's called. Um, but I watched the documentary, um, the engine house to kitchen recap or something like that. And that was really, it was all on Netflix and that was really good. And me and my husband were watching fat, sick and nearly dead last night. We just both kind of looked at each other and were like, oh my gosh, like we need this. Like it, things have just gotten really bad. So, um, you know, we're just, we're feeling gross. We're just not feeling good anymore. Um, you know, I usually exercise and work out and eat really healthy. I mean, people even are like, gosh, Amber, uh, you know, why don't you go hug a tree or go, you know, go eat that flower. Cause I would eat like super healthy and it's just kind of like has declined and we're just ready to get back to where we were. So we're going to try this. Um, if you want to go to my Facebook page, I'll post, you know, everything you need on there. Uh, Facebook is lazy organized mom. So just go like my page and you make sure you consult your doctor before you do um, the juicing. Um, we're going to do it for 10 days. The, let me start over. The first week, we just kind of ease into it. We start getting off like dairy. We stop the processed foods. You know, the first week is just kind of easing into it. And then um, after that week, then we juice and like, you know, he has like a calendar and you know, shopping list and all this stuff for the next 10 days. And then after those 10 days, we're going to see how we feel. And if we're like, you know what, this isn't so bad. Let's do it for another 10 days. We'll do it for another 10 days. Um, I don't want to do it for like a long term, um, but you know, we'll continue juicy and then like maybe like do a three day, you know, juice cleanse every month or like, you know, every couple months, you know, just to kind of refresh, get some more nutrients in there. And, like, maybe just do, like, you know, juices or whatever, like, for breakfast. Um, I'm not a big breakfast person. I just, I can't do it. So, maybe juicing will be a great way for me to get a good breakfast, healthy, and start my day off right. So, 
if you want to be a part of that and watch um, me and my husband's videos that we'll be doing, um, go ahead, check that out on my Facebook. And I also post the videos here on my YouTube channel. But if you want like the whole, you know, the, the shopping list, the calendar and all that, make sure you go to my Facebook page, The Lazy Organized Mom, and um, get ready to completely change your life. You know, just organizing and it's not a diet. It's a lifestyle change. You know, like God talks about treating your body like a temple. You know, like treat it like God did the church. Like, you know, you need to take care of yourself. And being a mom, you really need to take care of yourself. And, you know, our kids won't be doing the juice diet, but they will be changing their diet. Like, it's going to be like no cereal. We're taking out all kinds of processed, nasty stuff. And we're going to find ways to eat healthier and do things healthier. Um, we just, we need it. I mean, I think everybody should try it, but make sure you consult your doctor first. Thanks.